Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So really, really excited. Um, I'm here to bring you my latest digital kit. I said a few times, kind of, you know, I've been working a lot on digital things lately. Um, you know, I just feel I have to kind of go where the mood takes me kind of at the time, because if I force myself to try and do, you know, say like a journal, a physical journal, and I'm really kind of feeling the digital stuff, then it's just not going to come together. So I've been kind of lots of inspiration flooding through my head and things. So that's what I've been focusing my efforts on. So I'm really, really excited by this one. Um, it's just turned out really kind of classy and um, sophisticated looking, I think. Hope that you guys agree. Um, so I've just kind of gathered a bunch of stuff to kind of overlay with it just because I thought it looked really, really beautiful, um, kind of in that way. So I shall um, get showing you the kit. So if I move all these little odds and sods that I've got here kind of out of the way, um, obviously, as you can see, it's a sort of um, really striking black and cream, kind of black and kind of coffee dyed -y type colour. Um, kit and it's called Symphony Orchestra for the kind of obviously musical theme that kind of runs through it. It's all kind of um, you know in this monotone kind of just the two kind of colourways, different shades of kind of in between um, but it hasn't got any other colour which you know for me I love that um, because then you can either keep it completely um, you know as per those colourways when you're making a journal or you can add other colours with it. I did grab some um, bright pink kind of lace just on my way to do this video and just look at kind of how striking that looks when you kind of put it against it. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this kit when I finally have time to actually kind of sit down and play with it. But I'm just going to kind of show you um, first of all. So again, it's um, a PDF. What you will get when you kind of purchase the kit is two PDF files. One is the background papers and one is the kind of what I would call the main body of the kit. So you get 10 background papers. So if I go through those first, so this is the first one. Sorry, my bulb seems like it's going. This is the first one here. Um, again, I've done them in the separate files because obviously then you can select borderless on your printer settings and it will print right to the edges. This is another background paper, really, really stunning. Um, I just, yeah, really, really love how these have come out. I just think they're really beautiful. Um, this is another one. And another one. This is the fifth one. So you've got kind of a variety of kind of more um, neutrally coloured ones and your very dark, really striking, kind of dramatic looking ones. Um, again here another quite kind of more calmish neutral colour again another kind of calm neutral one then this gorgeous one here this one here tried to include quite a few kind of um, you know um, frames and things like that for kind of journaling places and things and then this one probably is my favourite of the background papers. I just love the striking kind of black um, tone to it. So, yeah, uh, really, really, really love it. So that's the background papers. Ten of those, as I say, all in one file. And then the main body of the kit. You get, um, I think it's 14 pages is the main body of the kit, which includes all sorts of things journaling cards, tags, um, envelopes, banners, all sorts of different things. So on this page, you've got kind of a variety of journaling cards. This kind of what I would use as maybe like a label or something, um, you know, down the bottom of a page, you know, you could write place names and things like that. You've got a banner here. I think they're really fun to use. Um, and then you've got a couple of little kind of squares here, which again, one is kind of done more ticket style and one kind of just um, in a kind of striking black kind of effect. Then you've got a little circle here. So that's the first page. Just trying to decide where to put them to keep them out of the way. Then on the next page, you've got here a frame. You've got an oval piece here and then some more journaling cards. Um, you know, and again, all in the kind of coordinating colourways. Then on this page, you've got some of those little double tickets. 
um, and then you've got quite a large there single ticket you've got another banner kind of running lengthways this time and another couple of um, journaling cards you know I mean I'm just merely saying journaling cards but obviously you could use them as as you like as kind of journaling spots or mats or um, you know kind of tuck spots pockets whatever you like really or obviously a cover you know put them on the cover of a journal however kind of suits you then on this page there's another little banner here there's another ticket down here another circle love this one very striking in the black um, another little kind of like a journaling frame type thing um, a tag here and then another kind of maybe a pocket or a tuck spot and another journaling card down here excuse the back of this page I was um, obviously having problems with my printer then on this page you've got another um, few journaling cards here and then this here is one of the pockets which I absolutely love this because obviously it's a fan so when you cut around it and then obviously you just fold down kind of the edges of the fan basically and that's then a pocket for your page which I just thought was so stunning um, just yeah loved it so that's, um, you know, a really fun pocket, I think, there. Then on the next page, you've got here another pocket with a kind of coordinating little card to pop in there. And then a couple of little kind of banners or labels, you know, um, I'm not sure what the terminology would be. And then a couple of little journaling cards. And on the next page, again, another pocket. Um, and again, obviously, you do just cut these out and just fold down kind of in the obvious places and then you've got a coordinating card to pop in the pocket again another ticket down here and then here you've got some words um, on kind of a bit of sheet music kind of backed onto sheet music and then on the next page um, you've got another pocket so um, again this is in that gorgeous black striking black so obviously once this is cut out and you fold it round it will be just the black pocket. You won't see then this kind of colour. Um, so I thought that was quite lovely. And then obviously you've got um, various other pieces on here, a little ticket and another round piece there. And then on the next page, you've got here a tag, which I thought was a really nice one. And then you've got, again, um, this is a kind of genuine vintage photo that I just kind of scanned in. And then you've got some more little cards there to use. And then on this page, you've got three really quite large um, tags. I really like large tags. Um, and then you've got another one of those little banners, a little oval piece there with, again, a kind of faded out bit where you could kind of write something. Another small journaling card and another kind of oval piece there. So loads and loads of bits and bobs to play with in this kit. Then you've got kind of a couple of pieces of kind of stationery or maybe you would want to use them as kind of journaling mats on your pages um, but larger kind of pieces anyway so um, you know and again they've got kind of little pianos on them to kind of run with the theme there and then here you've got um, the first of your envelopes and you've got obviously kind of a couple of little journaling cards so the envelope again you cut it out and it folds in the kind of obvious places and this one then has got a little violin on the flap when the flap comes down so I thought that was kind of cute and then this I just really love the black it's just so striking so this envelope obviously black and then on the flap there you've got one of those gorgeous fans again um, so again you just fold down kind of in the obvious kind of places there is a kind of faint mark there where you actually fold and then you've got a couple more journaling cards there and then here on the final page I've given you another black envelope um, basically it's got the black um, uh, you know what's <laughs> the, the base of the envelope basically I couldn't think of the word there um, so it's kind of similar but obviously this is kind of a very you know just pure black one rather than got the kind of lighter colour centre there and then again you've got kind of a journaling card here and then a lovely frame here within an, you know, or with another frame within it. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of different bits and bobs to play with, excuse me. Um, so really kind of good fun, can't wait to get using it myself. 
Um, I just really haven't had time between my kind of fabulous flower series and kind of making all my digital stuff. I haven't really had time to play with anything. So I've got a whole bundle of digital things now that I'm waiting to play with. But I really love this. Just think it's going to be, um, you know, a really fun one to kind of play with. And I've just literally bought along a couple of little bits that I grabbed out from my stash to kind of just show you just how gorgeous it looks. I mean, sometimes in my journals I have used black lace before and I just kind of wanted to kind of show you how striking and gorgeous that that would look along there. You know, if you just kind of popped a bit of pearl trim down there. I've got this little flower here. I mean, doesn't that just look so pretty together? I love the striking um, kind of combination. I've got here one of my Puff Jo Yo flowers, which again, brilliant colourway kind of, you know, maybe for a kind of um, outside cover of the journal or something like that. So again, kind of very drawn to that. And then I just bought along some of the gorgeous kind of cream lace here, just to kind of show you how the cream does still obviously go. Um, so, you know, that's kind of obviously running along there. Just got a piece of that bridal lace, just because again, that just kind of caught my eye as I was grabbing things. And I just thought, again, really striking kind of with that. And then I've just got a couple of here, pale gray kind of flowers from some trim, just to kind of give you a couple of, um, you know, kind of illustrations really of how it's going to look. I've also got a little flower here that again, I've kind of made this, this actually I use as a brooch and um, I've got a little hat that I kind of put this on. Um, but again, I just kind of grabbed that because I thought that would just look really awesome with this kit. So I can't wait to use this. And as I say, it is listed in my Etsy. I just thought it was something a little bit different um, to kind of other stuff. And, you know, I, yeah, just thought the opportunity to kind of do something a little bit kind of different and kind of, I love the striking combination with all the black and things. So um, it looks to me really kind of sophisticated and and classy so um i hope that you guys think so as well so uh yeah i hope you like it i'd love to hear your comments below thank you so much everyone for all your lovely comments of late um i really really do appreciate all the support um you know it really has been amazing so thank you so much um and i will catch you all soon so obviously the links below if you wanted to check this kit out in my shop um, and if you do and, you know, kind of if you take fancy to it, I hope you have loads of fun using it. So thanks very much then and I will see you shortly. Thanks then. Bye.